Hello! Thanks for watching your next math video lesson, right? Thanks for checking in. So we've been working with this unit on calculating the volume of different three-dimensional figures, and the learning target for this lesson is that you will calculate the volume of pyramids, right? We've done all kinds of shapes. We've done cylinders, cones, spheres, hemispheres. Uh, before this, we did prisms, and now we are on to pyramids. Different shape, different formula, right? Let's take a look. For the volume of pyramids, you have to take one-third times our friend Big B times H. So if you remember this Big B times H, that was the volume of a prism. So really the only thing that's different today is that we're adding this one-third component. Because would you believe that a pyramid is one-third of a prism? So if you could take three pyramids that are all the same and rearrange them and stack them together, three pyramids would actually add up to one prism. Oh, there's the bell. All right, here we go. So uh, here I kind of spelled it out in more obvious terms. The volume of a pyramid is one-third times big B, which is base area, times the height of the pyramid, right? Height of the pyramid there. So uh, we have two different kinds of pyramids that we're going to be working with. We have here on the left side a rectangular pyramid. Yes. Why is it rectangular? Mm-hmm. Because the base is a rectangle. So if the base is a rectangle and we have to find big B, let's remember area of a rectangle is base times height. So it would be this measurement here times that measurement there. That would give you uh, the area of the base. However, on the right side, this is yet a different kind of pyramid. And the shape of its base, looky here, is a triangle. So to find the area of that base, or a triangle, big B, it's half times base times height. So it would be half of the base and the height of that triangle, right? That would give you then big B, which you'd have to then take back up to your volume formula, multiply it by one-third, and multiply it by the height of the overall pyramid. Great. Let's try some. I'm sure you're just dying to try some, right? We're going to spend a day working with just rectangular pyramids First. So these are two rectangular pyramids, and uh, these are probably the easier ones than, than what we're going to do here in a, in a few minutes, which will be triangular pyramids. I think rectangular pyramids are just a little bit easier. So let's get going. You know what I'm going to expect, right? I always expect you to start by writing your formula. Okay, now it's a rectangular base, so it's length times width. I'm just working on calculating big B at this point. Um, so looking at the base, it's a 4 by 10. Big B is 40. Okay? So that is going to get plugged back into my volume formula. One third, good thing I have a calculator, times 40 times the height of the pyramid. Now we haven't talked about this yet. The height of the pyramid goes from the center of the base up to the vertex, up to the point of the pyramid. So the height of the pyramid is right there, and it is that 6. So would you believe 1 third times 40 times 6, and hopefully you're following along using your own calculator, is 80 centimeters cubed. Why is it cubed? Because it's volume, right? You know that. You should know that by now. Hey, let's do another one just to really make sure we understand. Hey, there's another one. Look at that guy. Let's use green. One third. Big B 
times h. It's a rectangular base, so it's length times width, which is 10 times 8. 10 times 8, big B, is 80. All right, back to my volume. One third times 80 times the height of the pyramid. Height of the pyramid goes from the center of the base straight up to the top, vertex, and that is six inches. So one third times 80 times six is 160 inches cubed. All calculator work, but you have to know what numbers go where, right? You have to really kind of understand the, the different parts of the pyramid and the different parts of the formula. So we'll spend a day working with these fellas in class, and then we'll spend yet another day working with these guys. These are rect or triangular pyramids. Uh, it says be sure to show your steps and, of course, label our answers. All righty. Formula of one-third, big B times H. Now, look at the base. Not a, it's not a rectangle anymore, it's a triangle. Triangle big B is half times its base times its height. So now I'm looking at that triangle, and it's going to be half times the base of the triangle, I see to be 12, times the height of the triangle, I see to be 8. Remember, the, the base and the height of a triangle always make this 90 degree angle right here. You're always looking for that little 90 corner. So half times 12 times 8 is 48. Big B is 48. All right. One third times 48. That's my big B times the height of the overall pyramid. Height of the pyramid here goes from the center of the base clear up to the vertex. And they're telling us it's 16. So one third times 48 times 16 is 256. Now, wait a minute. It said to label. I don't see any unit of measure. I don't see. Is it inches, feet, feet, yards, miles? I don't know. You know what? If they don't tell you, then you need to use the word unit. Units, whatever they're measuring in, to the third power. So if they don't give you a label, you can make your own, and the label is the word units. Last one. Oh, no, maybe not the last one. I think we've got one more after this. Let's do the green again. It's a third. Base area times the height. The base is a triangle. So the base area is this. So I'm looking now at that triangle base. And it's half times 8 and 14. So big B for this one is 56. So now I go back to my volume, it's a third, times big B, which we just decided was 56, times the height, which is from here up, 17. So a third times 56 times 17, 317.3 units, because there's no other label, to the third power. I had to do a little rounding on that one. I think it was 0.3 repeating when I did the math. All right. Oh, I guess that was our last problem. Because we're at the final page where it says we'll be working on finding the volume of pyramids in class over the next few days. Hey, I got news for you. We are coming to the end of this volume unit. Uh, we're going to be looking at taking a test on all these formulas. A final assessment. Hmm probably in a week or so. Won't be too long, okay? All right. So I'll see you in class. Thanks for watching.